They go back now and Jason, the snow it's coming back tomorrow, but the real story is the bitter cold. Oh yeah, I feel like the bottom's dropping out and it's just we're not going to rebuild from this for a little bit uh, as the cold's going to be here for a while. Downtown right now, those skies have cleared out again. Not a good thing. It's going to help us to chill out even further tonight already at seven degrees and that feels like temperature at three below. So just a little bit of a light breeze doing a little bit of damage to that. And you look across the state 24 below for Mason City, 19 below for Algona. We are feeling below zero across the entire state and especially north of I-80. Uh, we are talking wind chills in the teens to 20s below. So clouds continue to clear out as they will into the evening and overnight. And you can see we've got more clouds on the way and more chances for snow on the way. But these temperatures are ridiculous. We're starting off below zero and we just barely nudge back up above it. We're at, we're at two at 3 p.m. I think we top out at three somewhere between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Um, and after that, more chances for snow into tomorrow evening as we see multiple waves of snow make their way through and not going to be a lot for most of us, but uh, it'll be enough to make for some slick roads and we've got that early on again tomorrow morning. Notice the winds sitting around 10 to 15 miles an hour as that rolls through and then again, more chances for snow into the evening and then into the day on Monday as well. We'll see more chances, so I know this is the winter that just keeps on giving. But we have got more on the way as far as how much you can expect tomorrow. A uh, plan for that around an inch to two inches for the metro south of the metro again near Lamoni westward towards Council Bluffs anywhere from two to four inches. Uh, this doesn't even include everything we'll pick up on Monday either. So yeah, it's just going to keep coming and uh, well, we're pushing towards record territory here. So snowfall so far season to date through today. We're at 46.4. Uh, you can see the record for that time for period is 50.6. We've already surpassed 2009, 2010, and both of these years we picked up uh, at or close to 70 inches of snow by the set, by the time everything was said and done. So not to say we're on a good track, but my goodness, if you like snow, well, we're in a pretty good year. Uh, cold, well, that's going to be with us into the morning too. Some of those areas to the northeast pushing 30, 35 below and even further to the north and northeast, even colder than that. So dangerous cold. Again, please don't leave your pets outside. This is a very frigid, very dangerous cold. Frostbite does not take long to set in with temperatures like this. Three, the high on the day. We are a solid 30 below average. And again, more chances for snow. You look through central portions of the state tonight, 10 below for Ankeny, 10 below for Bondurant. Runnels at nine below. Statewide, that cold territory is off to the northeast. That's air temperatures where they're talking 17, 18 degrees below zero and your eight day forecast as we head into the next couple. Again, chances for snow Sunday and Monday. High temperatures looking more like a phone number than high temperatures. 12, you're high on Wednesday. That's as warm as it gets after that. Even colder yet temperatures in the double digits below zero for morning lows next weekend. All right, thanks.